Okay, we're starting this video. Uh, I, amazing cultivation, cultivation simulator. I've, uh, if you didn't know what uh, cultivation is all about, it's mostly wushu novels, which is basically Chinese sword fantasy. It's basically you being a sage, learning some special technique. The most of the stories are incredibly boring and follow the same beats. I, I tried to read one or two. I, I really did, but there's so many chapters of barely anything happening. It's a, uh, it's it's not for the fate of heart. Also, hello, Grey Knight. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Are you easily entertained by seeing numbers get higher? Would you oh. like to play the equivalent of that? Except all the buttons have been replaced with Chinese symbols. Do you have a burning interest in Chinese martial arts, Taoism, uh -huh. or the pursuit of immortality? Then I, I just realized what that scene was from. That scene was from uh, Big Trouble in Little Chinatown. Because I remember watching that, uh, Raikoi showing me that movie. See where my life has spiraled out of control for the past two months. Amazing cultivation simulator. Keep in mind, I only paid money for this after 50 500 hours. hours? I've been playing this for so long that all my ads are in Chinese. Amazing cultivation simulator is a love letter to Chinese wushu novels. Like I said. Essentially, Chinese sword fantasy. The word is like a sound because it's meant to sound like a sword swipe. It's like you literally have flying swords around you or some crazy bullshit. Or you have the hidden dropping tiger super move, which is an attack that they'll say the name of and not explain what it does. The novels, cultivation, is the cultivation of one's internal chi. Mm. Through practice, martial arts, meditation, whatever. And chi yeah. is the vital breath or essence of our living world. According to the same people who stick um. needles in your back. The end oh, goal of cultivation is, of course, What the hell is that movie? Is what this whole game is about. Essentially, you're going to take a small group of Chinese rice farmers and turn them into demigods. Yeah, that's another scene from the movie. I need to dispel any movie. notion at all that this is Chinese rim world. I do this by comparing them directly. For okay. example, we need a refrigerator. I'm going to build one. We need a refrigerator. I'm going to drop the frozen soul of a demon and reduce the temperature to absolute zero. The room is too cold. We need air conditioning. The room is too cold. Rebuild it out of wood and make the bed out of fire. Now our disciple won't die of frostbite. He'll die of heat stroke. My <sighs> colonist is crippled, disabled, and completely geriatric. So the cheapest option is to put him down. My okay. disciple is an old, disabled nugget. We have regrown each of his limbs. Also, he's now a 14-year-old boy. We're under For attack some by reason. bandits. We should get inside to safety. A man just decapitated my best friend from over 10 kilometers away with a flying fedora. <laughs> Once you get past the obvious comparisons, you'll never mistake this game. I'm confused. Good. Else. To begin, you to novel bullshit is confused. Because pills, pretty much in wushu novels, can do anything. They can regrow your limbs, cause you to regain your youth. Or some bullshit. Hmm. Uh, Fable, how are you feeling about all this? Sorry, I stopped for one second. Uh, confused, actually. Good. So is everyone else. I only know about this a little bit because can't. of because of wushu novel bullshit. It's very quick and gives you a bit of background to the story. Unfortunately, okay. the English voice acting is questionable. Luckily, this is a I fantasy comment. game, so the sound of women is optional. In <laughs> contrast, the music is lovely and the visuals are gorgeous. Completing the tutorial unlocks mm. the actual game, which is Makes clearly sense. and unambiguously labeled classic, which, upon clicking, will show a huge list of sliders and settings to scare away the uh, casual guaylo. Don't touch anything, so just hit confirm. Next, you're gonna get trolled by the Chinese, because what? the developers think it's really funny that there's an almost certain guarantee that you just a Yao Guai as one of oh. your starting characters. Let me explain, oh, furries. Right boy. In this world, you can cultivate as either a human or a Yao Guai, which translates to monster, but really we're referring to demons. Yao Guai, henceforth referred to as yogurts, are animals oh. that have gained sentience and become humanoid. However, <laughs> their existence is unnatural, and eventually they have to face tribulation from the heavens. It yeah, basically, from what I know, they're basically animals that have learned how to cultivate or learned martial arts and gained enlightenment through that, so they can walk on two feet and do shit like that. And have a somewhat human form. That's mostly what they do, but yeah, it's... Also, the tribulation thing, I think, is from the Tale of Sun Wukong, but I could be wrong.
It's sort of like God's punishment for being a furry. I wish I knew that before I mm. lost my first waifu to a storm cloud, but because of a random character- What do you think of that, God's punishment for being a furry? I- Listen, there's no such thing. Get out of here. <laughs> As our local furry enthusiast, or a local fully <laughs> knowledge collector, we have Fable here, who is also a DM. No wonder the Thousand Suns became nothing but dust, pretty much. The collection randomizes race, and 11 out of 12 of those races are oh. different flavors of yogurt. You're very likely to land that. Until you know what you're doing, I don't recommend starting with dairy products. But mm. if you want to speedrun the game, I recommend starting as the fastest animal on land. A turtle will oh. starve to death before you even reach the dinner table. God damn. At this point, damn. there's not much advice I can give. You're gonna suffer, and you're gonna learn from the experience. So, pick your starting perks and get into the game. Everybody okay. recommends True Sun Refining as your starting law, because it's got very simple progression. And if you make a mistake, worst case scenario, you'll just die in horrific oh. agony. If you follow the plot, well, the entirety of a Taiyi sect has been annihilated. You and a handful of others are the only survivors. Why was it destroyed, and by who? Whomst mm. did this? Our questions you'll have God to answer doing if you want like to Vulcan did the Eldar children back the then. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. Vulcan hates Eldar anyway. But uh, right now, your primary concern is survival. To help, a mysterious cultivator who was tight with your former sect leader drops by for the next two weeks. As long okay. as he's alive, you're not gonna die. That is, unless you go to the bottom left of a map. In which case, you will both die. Let's oh. get definitions going. You're running a sect. A school of cultivation. A sect yeah. has outer disciples that will happily do all of your mundane, tedious basically, they do for just a competitive everything. salary of about zero dollars. Very nice. It's basically... They basically do everything for you because they get the chance, the possibility of basically becoming a super powerful person. Just the chance of doing it, not actually doing it, by the way. Slaves, as per se, we don't use that word here. It's more like an internship, which never ends. But through a high-intensity jujitsu program, <laughs> known as Foundation, they can become inner disciples. An inner disciple must choose one of the many supreme laws to follow, through which they cultivate a higher state. They're riding on a bow. Their progress, abilities, and potential is largely determined by their character stats and background. Like RimWorld, everyone in this game generates with a random background, such okay. as congenital defects seashell collector and effeminate male the combination oh. of stats will determine their effeminate males are actually pretty normal in these cultivation style things ability with a chosen Strangely law. Enough. You start with just one, but you'll unlock the rest as the game goes on. Also, they don't have to eat, but they still uh. do. It's not uncommon to see a cultivator feasting on ramen, even if there's currently a famine. Especially <laughs> if we're currently having a famine. Also, pro tip, you start with a single forming pill. This can instantly finish your foundation and give you an inner disciple right at the start. After mm -hmm. promotion, you can go to the sect tab and hit establish a sect. And most importantly, give it a cool what name. Is that? BTX army gang? What? I incorporated. What? The rest of the game opens up. Inner disciples don't work. They cultivate and get stronger. After all, this is Taoist Dragon Ball Z. But after <laughs> incorporation, you can send them out to explore the world. There's two options: camp and adventure. Adventure sends them out on adventures. They leave okay. and they come back. Camp sends them out to stay. And if you're so inclined, you can physically enter the map and plunder a village. At the start, your oh. map's gonna look like this. Immediately, or until the golden some... zone for Sagara Piggy. All will to the Emperor. What's going on in my chat? Fable, are you still there? I think he's too confused. Well, Fable. Yeah, I'm still here. I just I'm here. One, very <coughs> cool. I'm dying. I just don't understand anything, because, like, what? Why are they eating when there's a famine? I don't know. It's a... Uh, sex stuff is kind of weird. Basically, think of it as, like... How should I describe this? Like a Jedi temple? Each one ha only has like one way of knowing how to use the Force. And they teach, but Outer Disciples are basically their workers who get the chance of the possibility of one day using that stuff. Aww. You get what I'm going at here? And they al also, uh, 
Uh, they're all usually everyone in there is terrible people. Barely any locations because you haven't discovered them. And oh, two, dear. if you try to explore the red mm -hmm. zones, you're gonna come home in a body bag because that's not your territory. So whose is it? A great way to find out is to visit them directly and prank them by sneaking inside their school. Once mm -hmm. they catch you, they'll give you a proper introduction, break your knees, snap your spine, and gouge your eyes out. Yeah, like the I said, they're not good people. Aren't very sociable, but diplomacy is important because if they felt so inclined they could obliterate us to even yeah that's the nicest though being is basically completely crippling you and not killing you get an audience with them you have you to know make all that you know a thing i have for a king i don't understand what don't you understand about it? an offering your offering doesn't matter each time they're going to call you a broke ass bitch anyway that's mm. why we wait for a cow to defecate mark what? it as the trade area and send our gift now you can trade in a world of immortality what the hell? money is an abstract concept so you just sent shit to them for no reason this is this is completely insane but then again so is uh wushu novels purely barter-based economy. However, we still have a form of currency, and yeah. yes, it's completely edible. Spirit stones are the chocolate coins of this world. You can trade yeah. them during break time for Pokemon cards, or consume yeah. them directly to restore a small amount of diabetes. In this case, they restore a small amount of chi, so they function as both a store of wealth and a means of exchange. Each okay. set offers something different for ridiculous amounts of money, and uh, even if you have a stacks to pay for it, we're not selling. That would be like selling weapons to your enemy and how do we know we can trust you so you have to butter them up this is mainly okay. done by asking people across the world whether the leader of a sect prefers cats or dogs and what? gifting him the appropriate kind of meat let's return the matters back at home feng shui is a chinese system of oh do you know what feng shui is kind of it's 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 weird. Basically, it's the spatial arrangement of the, uh, of things in your home to cause better chi flow. It's it's weird. It's weird. I don't know that An much about it. Orientation in relation to the flow of chi. Have a look. Yeah. Here's some simple Chinese alchemy that I expect you to memorize by about 200 hours of play. Why oh, wonderful! Do I have to learn this because everything in this game is subject to feng shui. Everything has an element, okay. and they interact with one another. Water nourishes wood. Wood feeds fire. Fire cools okay. to make the earth. Earth produces metal, and metal holds the water, allowing it to repeat the cycle. Okay, okay. that's cool, Seth, but we don't have time for this. Wait, did my guy just die of heart palpitations? Why is the yin-yang symbol in this bedroom red? What the fuck does ominous mean? When in doubt, uh. check the pentagram. Room of wood, bed of earth. Wood defeats earth, making the feng shui wow. of the bedroom ominous. And if you sleep in that bedroom, you'll die of a heart attack. Replace well, the earth bed with a fire bed, and as wood feeds fire, the feng shui will become auspicious, which means good. However, Wonderful. if you sleep in that bedroom, you'll die of heat stroke. That's what? because fire and water control the temperature. In a more relevant scenario, each of the supreme laws practiced by your cultivators has an element. Feng shui affects the Yeah, everything has an element as far as I know. So if you're a metal cultivator, you would avoid fire as fire melts metal. However, if you told him to meditate in an empty room and fed him laxatives, the what? speed of his cultivation would increase with the volume of shit he produces. Oh my god. is the element of earth which promotes metal. If you're confused, so I sympathize. There is no way you could possibly know that in Feng Shui, the orientation uh, of a room's door is specific to its function. In other words, he had to look all this up. I just realized he had to look all this crazy shit up that none of us would have. Also, I forgot something. Uh, crap. Words, bedrooms face south, workshops east, and kitchens west. That's why everything in this game has a comment box, so uh, you and your fellow Guilos can share ideas bird. about yeah, what the hell is going on. I have on. no now, idea what I'm doing. This game is cultivation towards immortality, which can be summarized by the okay. following post. You eat a pill, sit on your ass for several years, and once you're done, you go from rank 8 ping pong to rank 2 ching chong, which is still like 100 ranks below the heavenly golden dragon god emperor star ancestor. But it's okay uh, since there are still about 3,000 chapters to go, and all the big dick characters that could kill you with a fart are currently busy. So you can go and wipe out a Ding Dong clan, which obsessively uh. wants you dead because you courted death by destroying the King Kong clan after its young master picked a fight with you over your jade-like beauty childhood friend. I need to say something. That is a pr 
Despite what that sounds like, that is actually a pretty accurate representation of most Wushu novels. <laughs> of literally being so many... J whatever the hell they're doing. And it's really just all the same. It's really just all the same. Where they ah, just... yes, we must take out the one clan because they're jealous of our booty. They're it's jealous hard. of uh, your of your friend who has jade-like beauty and wanted to court them, but it, their young master, who is apparently a rich dude, who has uh, something tiger fists, but you killed him because he was trying to force her away. It's it's bullshit. It, it's something that normally happens. I've gotten Eventually, into Fortnite, Mike. Is that because of Black Cat? And poorly understood processes to help you How are reach people here? A oh, yeah, higher yeah, power that. level. There's three types of cultivation in this okay. game, and I'm going to mispronounce all of them. Xiandao, Shandao, and Physical. Xiandao <laughs> is most relevant because it makes up 90% of the game. Your process of cultivation is derived from Chinese internal alchemy, where instead of a okay, cauldron, you use your know. body, and instead of reagents, you use your chi to form a golden core. Think of a philosopher's stone, except backwards. That's what a golden core is. Instead of drinking the elixir of life, we yeah, are the elixir of life. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Xiandao is unique since you can transcribe your knowledge to a manual. This means a single cultivator can study from every other law and become exponentially more powerful. This can oh. lead to interesting situations where oh. someone might learn skills they really weren't supposed to. Demons cry? What the fuck? Go this there. means a single cultivator can study from every Demonic other law and become exponentially more powerful. This can lead to interesting situations where someone might... Uh, pleasure... This is what pleasure feel like remained. This is what pleasure feel like. I learned skills. They really. There are countless demons crying in my heart. It feels like they're hungry. What the hell does that mean? Weren't supposed to. Such as a male cultivator learning lunar form from the sunflower refining law, and by okay. doing so, reversing his sex. Becoming female in this game results in the loss of your penis, which what? can be picked up and sold on the open market. What the fuck? Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to add to that. <laughs> I don't know either. Upon realizing that you're not meant to have one, attach immediately. Each time you harvest a crop of penis, you become the dick farmer. But I digress. What the fuck? To reach a higher power God level, it, you have to perform okay. a breakthrough. This is essentially a bottleneck in your training, which you have to overcome or you can't Yeah, I've heard progress. about these. Golden in Core, those however, in is those different. Notes. It is the single most important breakthrough of your career. Every condition has to be perfect. The season, the weather. However, the time of day, the mental state of a cultivator, the element of a room, the chi density, and the amount of chi flowing through the cultivator's meridians. Get all those right, and you just it's... might get a better result than I did. Uh... I genuinely thought I did pretty good for my first time. Tier 9, I thought to myself, that's a pretty high number. Tier 9 is the lowest tier of Golden Core. It is uh... trash. Literally, swallow a rebirth pill and reincarnate yourself, my man. You fucked up. Early on, your Golden Cores are gonna suck, but with experience okay. comes knowledge and once you learn how you'll be making some fat cores on the regular then there's shandao cultivation instead of cultivating your chi you take the in fuck? the chi of others through worship give me one second i just got called Alright, I have to deal with an idiot family member, so I unfortunately have to be back. Can you guys entertain them while I'm gone? Uh, also, I'll hand this video to someone sure. else, because my family member decided, you know what, I ran out of gas. They're like, I didn't know it. I saw the ticker that said, oh, I'm out of gas. But I didn't do anything yeah. about it. <laughs> Fucking I mean, idiot. I'll try, but this one is kind of confusing. Just talk about whatever you want. Uh... I'll be back, guys. I'm going to have to cut this video into two. Wonderful. Uh, I'll talk to someone about just sticking them together. But yeah, I have idiot family members. That's why I try to grow as a VTuber, because they're idiots. All right. See you guys in a bit. Yeah, understandable. I am back. Sorry, uh, Chrono. Do you think you could...
I could just hand you two videos and you can just stick them together. Uh, yeah, I should be able to. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you later about that. Anyway, back to this. And the more people believe in you, the more powerful you become. Once you establish yourself as a divine being with a realm of heaven, you can be the petty god you've always wanted. As a oh no, Fable would take advantage of that. Drought, bandits, famine, refuse. What I do? Don't waste my time. Be a being the petty god you always wanted to be. Only when it comes to the Dark Eldar, I will, I will take them out kicking and screaming, and it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> it's not. Mm. Hasn't been taken? Granted. You want oh. your boss to step in dog shit? <laughs> Hasn't been taken? Grand players, drought, bandits, famine, refuse. Don't waste my time. You wish that tomorrow your favorite brothel prostitute hasn't been taken? Granted. You want oh your boss God. to step in dog shit? Granted. <laughs> you want the guy who stole from you to be struck by lightning? My pleasure. You want those annoying oh neighbors my God. next door to die in horrific agony? Oh Me dear too. God. You want someone Granted. to celebrate your birthday with you Me this year? Grant. Granted. At oh, I <laughs> Want someone to celebrate your birthday Stop with you as Turtle. And love Shandow. Also, they get the most ridiculous titles. Just imagine that every prayer addressed to you has to be prefaced with Dear Primordial, True Venerated, Great Pardon, Supreme Virtue, Venerated <laughs> Holy Emperor. That leaves us with physical what the cultivation. Fuck? What yeah. is physical cultivation? It's an inner disciple what... that spent the last 50 days remolding his phallus. Due to the mental state bonus of having a gigantic penis, he is now oh. physically immune to depression. In all what? Seriousness, you take a mortal and you turn him into a super saiyan. Every body part, limb, joint, bone, and organ of your body you can remold until you become Goku. And then you give him oh. intense PTSD so he can channel those repressed oh. memories to increase his attack power from 1 million to 7 million and one shot the entire game. Also, that's, uh, since every wow. yogurt comes from a different animal, they all have unique anatomy that's different to humans, which means for every species of demon you turn to physical cultivation, there's tissue, bones, and organs not found anywhere else. In other words, fuck your opposable oh. thumbs. I got vertebrae fused to my carapace <laughs> sooner. What the heck? Refused my or later, your sect is going to be attacked by okay. bandits, demons, or other cultivators, with the exception uh, of physical cultivators, which remove organs with their bare hands. Xian okay. and Shandao cultivators fight using artifacts. What oh. is an artifact? Well, anything. A Kleenex huh? tissue, a bowl of ramen, a bag of flour, a uh, bucket of water, a pile of shit, severed male genitalia. As long as you uh, enchant it, you can use it. Preferably, try to enchant an actual weapon. Although, you can't deny <laughs> it's very demoralizing to see your fellow bandit get decapitated by blue fabric summer shirt. Combat. <laughs> that is great. Uh, resting place. That is basically your oh, no. sit around and Fables typing. Stop him. Cut everyone to pieces. It's pretty fun to watch, especially larger battles no, where the you. sky is nothing but swords. What of the fuck? Course, no cultivation is complete without embracing traditional Chinese medicine. Oh That's no. That's right. Alchemy. Here's a good summary of what alchemy is like. Change the weather. Lose 20 huh? years of your natural lifespan. Yeah, that's why it's sound bad. Until you visit the local Chinese pharmacy and pop a pill which adds 500, another which adds 280, and wash it all down with some mineral water which adds another 99. Now the only thing you have to cure is perpetual baby face, which is uh. a common symptom when you have a lifespan of 3,000. You want something done? Yeah, there's a pill for that. Obesity? No problem. Not a beast enough? I gotcha. Would you like to prank a demon? Force feed um. him a rebirth pill and he'll reincarnate right back into a piece of pork oh. on your dinner plate. The cycle of karma is a fickle mistress. God damn. Honestly, if alchemy made any more sense, I'd actually be upset. Now, uh, you can pretty much do anything with alchemy in Mushu novels. For three days. About 30 days in, you're gonna get a pet. A divine pet. This is different oh, to normal pets, which you adopt into your sect by shooting them with hunting bows, which are somehow blunt and tipped with anesthetic. This may sound very stupid, but on the other mm. hand, Gundo Musashi had books that put you to sleep, and that was a masterpiece. Any I have never heard of that. What the hell? Uh... How do I even describe what I just heard? Anyway, he starts off as a baby <clears throat> and grows larger with time. He's also a little... Hey! Been a while. 
Yes, yeah. And you're gonna have to keep an eye on him before he destroys your sect. For example, mm -hmm. that put you to sleep, and that was a masterpiece. Okay. Anyway, he starts off as a baby and grows larger with time. Big doggle. So a little shit, and you're gonna have to keep an. What did I put with you for quite a long time? Eye on him before he destroys. Or if, or if I'm ruthlessly biting wooden manual per your sect. For example, my friend saw one of his cultivators doing a breakthrough, and he thought to himself, Fuck, my man is literally shitting himself. This is one intense breakthrough. Turned out mm -hmm. his dog was feeding laxatives to all of his inner disciples. Oh. It is your responsibility to teach them. The plants in the garden look useful. Let me help them fertilize. Right from wrong. Peasants slacking on the job? Yes. Attack outer disciples. Give them oh. some cardio. Drug <laughs> inner disciples with euphoria pills? Why not? Give them some opium. An injured what? stranger wants our help? Yes. Attack unknown mortals. Kill them. Whether you oh, raise a functional member of society or a four-legged sociopath is entirely up to you. You can even rename him to oh. something a little more <laughs> oh My god. include the... Dinner bamboo forest dlc which adds a pair of pandas there's five pets in total they're incredibly okay. cute and generally amazing at cool. the beginning your sect can only hold 12 members this increases to 24 then 36 as your reputation increases reputation also increases the power level of invading enemies don't let this number get out of control or you'll experience firsthand what it's like to lose a 50 hour game in five seconds. Oh your god, someone's dead it was up to nine. I can inform you that in this game, you can draw Chinese talismans with your mouse, the accuracy of which determines the blessing. You can even draw oh. on a blank sheet of paper. And oh, that's the symbol from Berserk. Or was that what? Yeah, it's the symbol from Berserk. And it's still gonna work. I know this because somebody drew a swastika and apparently they can now use the oven 12% faster. What the fuck? I I don't even know. So Fable, are you alive? Visibility scrolls and wear them when you go on adventures. Your sect will thank you. Fable, Each time they haven't been murdered in your absence. It's not easy to make stacks. And Fable is dead. All hail the new Fable. What's wrong with these people? I don't Which know. We have to trick villagers into filling our ranks. We do this by making small talk, finding out that half of them love nothing more than to ravenously consume shit and invite what? them over. Because we're gonna need a lot of manpower for our okay. Chinese sweatshop. As inner disciples cultivate immortality, outer disciples cultivate huge plantations of cotton. We're gonna process that down to fabric, and we're gonna okay. wait. Because very soon, a merchant is gonna show up. He operates on a sweatshop economy. He's gonna pay uh, your Okay. So you better have a high volume of garbage to sell. Luckily, our emaciated peasants have worked hard this summer, and we just earned yeah, there's a lot wrong with these people. stones. We're gonna celebrate by losing it instantaneously, what? because the merchant also sells an invitation to an exclusive event. Read the token, and we're off to the auction house. Um, have you ever gone no. to an auction where you can't even see what's being sold, but no. instead are given a vague description? Hard. Lumpy. A man's hand shoots up. I'll take it for 10,000. Not to be outdone, I raise his offer. I'll take it for 12,000. Another joins in. 13. Another raises. 14. What the, the fuck is even happening? Poor as fuck. I know it's a bidding war, break. but for something they don't even know what it is. is. It? Eventually, there's only two of us. One. Final raise, 56,000. I won the bid, but okay. I don't have 56,000. But uh, they don't know that. The auction oh. is, it's time to pay. I can't pay. I am under arrest, but I'm not, because I am a mannequin made of straw. <laughs> what? I went to the auction. I took a clone pill and sent my body double. And Why? And that is a good summary of the auction house experience. It's not about what we bid on. It's about why we do it. We do it to flex on the poor. While keeping a low profile is but important, why? you should expand when given the chance. You see, your sect is local, but we can export the culture, the lifestyle, and the religion to the rest of fantasy China. To do this, we establish agencies. Then mm. we set a policy for each region and grow our influence. Depending mm. on the policy, you get random events, which have to be solved okay, random insanity. Events. You get a bunch of buttons, which I assume is what a paranoid schizophrenic's dialogue options look like, 
and you press okay. whichever one you think is appropriate to the situation. Options include talk, bribe, kill, seduce, or throw kill. a rock at someone what? and stone him to death. Foreigner scamming the locals, murder him. Another oh. sect is preaching about their faith. Pay them a hundred spirit stones to fuck off. Is it currently okay. Ramadan in the Great Desert? Start handing out food. Oh Believe my me, God! The longer you do it, the more sense it makes. Or I'm not sure it does. And psychopathic, your reasoning becomes. For example, uh, you're building a that's wonder. what I believe. Yeah, probably. Some people drop by to ask what you're doing. Wrong answer. Debate Feng Shui. Oh. Correct answer. Beat them with a club. If <laughs> you solve stuff correctly, you get a bunch more followers. Followers can dig up natural resources, okay. generate belief that converts into experience, completely skipping the grind of cultivation, and cool. be sacrificed for the greater good. You what? see, we're gonna need a lot of anguish soul gems, which uh... are born from a painful death in ominous feng shui. Luckily, with agencies, there's no shortage of fresh and willing mortals. Oh with no, fable. You can build a sect gate. This is the front door, where hopeful mortals arrive to prostrate themselves, begging to be Eric. recruited. But instead, we're going to build a hell gate, which is the same gate, but in a room with ominous feng shui at a comfortably cool temperature of absolute zero. We're gonna recruit mortals from every city. They will arrive, pray to hell gate, and freeze to death in horrific agony. Oh. And the negative moral consequence of such an action? Zero. Because they have died through no fault of our own. This is a good well, time then, to introduce alignment. That's, uh, not good. good. Or evil. But preferably, we want a balance. So, we have okay. good relations with both a virtuous and the demonic. This game exemplifies right. the Chinese at least practice of sense. moral relativity. Hmm. Hmm. What are they doing there? What, what game is that? Protesters? If I, I kind of want to be playing that instead of this. dying body to extract the location of their friends and family, that's slightly evil. But as long okay. as you give them a proper burial, that's a net neutral action and we have done How? nothing wrong or let's say a curious stranger comes by to ask what you're doing and then stands there waiting for an answer until he collapses from extreme first at which oh. point i feed him a laxative and watch him shit himself to death is it wrong to watch a dying man's ass fertilize my fields yes no, not at all what? but if i turn a bandit's dead broken body into a flesh puppet to serve us economically until it rots away that's considered evil a bigger question yeah I can see that. If I get decapitated by a dragon while adventuring, fly back home without a head, and use Yang God possession to transfer my consciousness into the body of another man's wife, would that make me a homosexual? Some questions. <sighs> okay, I am. Um, there's what? a point. Uh. Could that make me a homosexual? What the fuck? I, I don't know anymore. Have no clear. Let's just go on and try to survive. Death during winter because the wall of your house stood up and walked away. What? Unfortunately, in this game, that's a frequent occurrence. Without warning, anything on the map can gain sentience. Why? Sentient objects can also randomly enter the map. As I've seen entire pagodas march in and flatten my base. What's the point of them? To grief you. But more seriously, uh, you can turn them into a 14-year-old boy. What why? is the application of this? Well, you can take a shit, give it sentience, and turn it into a human who you're going to call Big Chungus because the guys oh on Discord data mined the Chinese code and found out that specific set of Latin characters ensures that the sentient spirit will generate with the highest stats possible. Then you're going to make a literal oh, piece God. of shit become a demigod and ascend to heaven. And that's why? what motivation is all about. By D the way, just everyone why? who ever goes to heaven, whether by death or ascension, gets a little epilogue section so you can follow the shenanigans of former disciples. Here's okay. an example of the literary gem Reincarnated this is so god oh my god seth what the fuck but got drowned to death by a mean child who peed on the ant nest then he reincarnated into a parrot but because he learned a lot of profanities and was swearing all day someone plucked out his feathers okay. and he froze to death and in his next life as a human he met a strange acting boy and believing him to be an immortal in disguise that I just don't even know what to say. he took it yeah. as his own however as it turned out the child was actually mentally retarded later what on the he'll hell? find out combat gets a little more complicated with the introduction a little of bit more. To understand oh what no, is, more complications. Try stealing. The moment you do so, a gigantic bubble forms in the sky and tears you to pieces. This oh. is called a formation. The leader of it is called the pillar, and everyone around them. Uh, the even as someone that's read a bit about Wushu novels, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Will feed each other as they flow back to the pillar. It might look very 
Oriental, but honestly, it's just Chinese Lego. What's the point oh. of formations? To deal with a little cave that appears in our base after about 200 days. If uh. you're not ready and you need to suppress it, give it a nice room. This will buy you some time, but whatever oh, you do, no. don't give it offerings. It's going to break out anyway, but your sacrifices will make it stronger. So we may as well piss it off. Welcome oh. to the official casual filter. The first boss you're going to encounter is the Flood Dragon, and it has a chi of about 10 million. Good what luck. the fuck? Honestly, if you get to the stage, congrats. Now, swallow your pride, go read a bunch of guides, and install some mods. It'll improve your life greatly. I'll attach the ones I use below. Dear There's God. nothing essential, but when you have to micromanage the mental state of about 18 different cultivators, it does get tiresome. Listen, I've been writing the script for close to a I month. I can tell. There's no way to include everything, and I want my life back. So, Makes use sense. a stream of consciousness before I give an arbitrary score, and go live in the woods. <laughs> Each sect has a wonder. Yours is no exception. Go okay. to the ruins of a Taiyi sect and bring it back. The mini universe is a game changer. It's an infinite pocket right. plane that sucks in material and spits it out. But could it right. be a deeper, more mysterious function? No, it's just storage. No longer will your peasants have hmm. to walk for nourishment because the best soups of a Wuhan wet market are gonna fly right into their hands. After killing oh. your first blood dragon, which will always, without fail, crash its body into one of my expensive cultivation rooms, the game removes oh all God. safety checks. You can now summon the Phoenix, which uh, takes 10 days of extreme drought, during which time your base is going to burn to the ground because uh, you forgot to move a single Phoenix feather, which landed in a bedroom and turned the temperature to about twice the melting point of steel. After God. 10 days of drought, it doesn't stop. It's perfect. HNK announced that they're finally making a civilian version of MP7. It'll cost... Permanent. Oh, the dear God way to end it is with a rainstorm miracle which will okay. make your phoenix very upset it's stronger than the flood dragon by the way also, oh you can't God. kill a phoenix each time you do it's just gonna reincarnate maybe why I would you mention that earlier Again, oh dear God. good luck then there's the torch dragon which is larger than the entire screen uh. and a yin yang variant respective to the time of day each variant is invincible to elements of the same polarity and even worse they make him stronger oh also, no he's gonna lay a bunch of eggs you should probably just just ignore them. And if you survive all that, there's really one challenge left. And that is? Every other sect and beating them into submission. One. Wait, 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 what did that say? I'm actually curious. Survive all that, there's really one challenge left. So he left. was able to survive all that somehow. Every other sect and beating I press the wrong button. I press the wrong button. Uh, let's see how the second is lost in could only protest the fail to offend themselves upon your attack. They surround you and promise only tr Mission. Okay. Once that's done, you can truly say, I finished the game. Now you can go back and play on the real difficulty. Real I difficulty? Do, have some major complaints. Remember the story? The plot? Weren't we supposed to investigate the mystery of a Taiyi set? I don't know. I lost destroyed. the plot yes, here as a while ago. Of doing so is so terrible that I'm just going to uh, save you the pain uh, and tell you instead. You okay. see, every character that's not your own can be interacted with, and we uncover the plot through the talking minigame. Primarily, okay. this is done by a adventuring to another sect. You talk to people, you get favor. After a while, you don't get favor. You only get favor from juicy gossip. So, Why? you have to talk to another character, learn something about them, go back to the first character, and tell them a secret about the second. But to get the secret from the second, I'll have to talk to 20 other people to have enough gossip and rumors to trade for more gossip and rumors. It's an infinite web of high school bullshit. It's the experience like of it. being a teenage girl. Because you uh. can't get the information you need directly. You have to go through the PMS chain of command to learn absolutely anything. Now, here's that the sounds terrible. Part. You might see a little question mark on someone next to the mystery tab. These okay. are the people you need to investigate to solve the mystery. Again, you have to All ask right. an entire sorority if they think that person knows something. If you ask oh them face-to-face -face without circumstantial evidence, they'll act dumb and say nothing. And even if you know that they know, they still have to open up to give you that information, which is dependent on their personality. If they're naive, that's the best case scenario because you don't have to do anything. If they're greedy, you have to bribe them. If they're weak, you have to kill them. If they're mm. tough, you have to gaslight their personal weakness. But well then, this is all completely insane. We'll watch something more simple next time. 
but if they're withdrawn, unfortunately, you are screwed. Because the only way to make a withdrawn person open up is to make your spirit dog act playful in front of them. This requires a fully grown spirit dog, which can take hundreds of days, and each time you do it, he loses intelligence from the oh. retardation of this mini game, which takes 10 to 20 days to recover. About wow. 20 hours in, my eyes bloodshot and attention slipping, I managed to solve the first two mysteries. Okay. I did this by finding clues, participants, and motives, and slapping them together. The more you find, the more complete and accurate your solution is. Then, I talked to the next five characters, and they were all withdrawn. Oh. I the game. I have never seen a story mechanic that's more laborious, difficult, and poorly fought out. But it doesn't end there. It gets better. You can do all of that and still hard lock yourself from completing the game because you didn't pick the right option for a specific event on day oh, 565. Wow. Or you waited too long and someone essential to the plot has died of old age. Still, I wow. wasn't entirely sure about the story, so I had to bring in the expert, resident merchant, aficionado of Ben 10 porn, and mentioned what? on several no-fly listings across Thailand. Hello, my nigga. I, I become rapid people because I eat watermelon. What Jack, the hell? his hard drive died about five times while explaining, but here yeah, this is a uh... sect was attacked. By who? By everyone. Both the evil and virtuous sect leaders conspired together to wipe it out. But Why? what could justify such a strange alliance? because the old leader of a Taiyi sect is none other than the demon emperor Fu Pekong, who is okay. currently inside your mini universe. If you talk to okay, him, man. you'll get your answers. You see, cultivation is difficult, but it's also strangely common to see someone go from mortal to demigod in just a few weeks. That's because this world isn't real. Over huh. by demons, the elders left the great vastness of the universe to this pocket universe, where cultivation what the hell? is quick, but the creed of heaven is weakening, and once it fails, <laughs> this universe will end. They took a shortcut to artificial power, and now they're trying their best to hold on. I In the see. final act, a cutscene plays and Fu Pekong undoes the universe, throwing us back into the great vastness. Everyone is mortal again, but this time, we can do it for real. Finally, oh. a title card drops, coming in 2023. Bug Snacks 2. And that's the what story the of Amazing Cultivation Simulator. So, you never have to go through that horrific experience. Yeah, In conclusion, I, would not I give Amazing this. Cultivation Simulator 10 out of 10 euphoria pills. I hate it. It's like the Opium Wars, except in this case, the yeah. Chinese you're okay, are Fable? If you're interested, you can get a copy on yeah, I'm Steam. Fine. Also, it's coming to yeah. GOG on the 23rd of July. That's this is made possible thanks to Polish Greed and my growing alliance with a CCP. Because okay. I like to bet on the winning team. And right now, that's team anyway I think we'll end that here so thank you all so much uh, thank you all so much I'll see you